Actually, I'm going to take this out of my ear. Oh, let's just hope they don't talk to me. For tomorrow's announcement, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We've got two teams going head to head. One is our superstar team from Iceland, and the second is a team representing the average athletes, like myself from CrossFit Hendersonville in Tennessee. Two men will go first, and then they'll tag in their individual. Mm, they're women, the women athletes. Okay. As for the scoring, athletes will score. Okay. <laughs> Individuals will all get their own score, so you can relax. <sighs> to make things even more interesting, to make things even more interesting, and to make things even more interesting, we're giving the team from Hendersonville a, a little, little head start, start to see if they can hold off the, the team, team from, from Iceland. Iceland. It'll all make sense tomorrow. <laughs> I hope that looks okay. Sled push, about 100 feet, is down to trash cans, mailbox, okay? So once you get down there, you leave it. So we're in week three of the CrossFit Open in 2022, and we're in Hendersonville, Tennessee. We're here because this is the top affiliate as far as participation goes. They've got almost 300 members that are participating in the CrossFit Open. And we've got sled pushes, about 100 feet, and then throwing in a little push-up air squat. Sticking yeah. to the body weight, keeping it simple uh, with minimal equipment. We were kind of used to this, you know, in 2020, so these people are having a blast. It's like throwback right now. 22.3, we finally got ourselves back into an affiliate. So CrossFit Hendersonville just put together four members from their gym, one of them being the gym owner uh, for this event. Two the three the, of the four of the team, right? Yeah, we're the four. Uh, his his wife yeah, is she's around somewhere, somewhere just talking, she's down there chatting, chatting it up, up laughing, yeah. Yeah, living life. Now she's doing push-ups right now. I was gonna her say favorite, she, her seemed favorite the, she seemed the least out of breath, so maybe that's why she's. She's not big on going hard. It'll be interesting to see how it goes on Thursday. <laughs> so hey. why is she tapering for Thursday and you guys aren't? Then? <laughs> We're all idiots. <laughs> She's smart. I think the competitive side yeah. kicks in quite a bit usually. Uh, when, even if we're not meaning for it to, it yeah. just kind of naturally happens. For me, what's different about this year's Open is that we're back on the road and it's so good to be back in an affiliate, which is where we want to be because the Open takes place in affiliates, even for the most elite athletes in the entire world. Awesome. Logan, yeah. nice to meet you, Mary. Hey, I'm Alexis. Oh, nice to meet you, Derek. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. So awesome. funny to see y'all in real life. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we <laughs> usually watch on YouTube. <laughs> so how are you guys feeling about things? Body's good. Ready to rock and roll. Body's good. Man. Ice is good as it goes. Yeah, I think so. We'll see. We're going to let it rip. That's yeah. for sure. It's a lot easier to produce an open announcement from a controlled studio setting, but that's not the full story of the open. We love going on the road and the unique challenges that come with it are just part of the show. So in this case, we have to displace a bunch of the members from CrossFit Hendersonville and even though they're good sports, uh, it takes up a lot of their time. We knew it was going to be a ton of fun this week, but actually living it out um, has, has been surreal. So I, I just sent a message to all our members just saying thank you. Like the way that they had a blast out here in the parking lot and working out and just the energy and the vibe. That's fueling me, you know, that's making this even a better deal um, than it already was. Uh, so it's been a really fun week. So while it's hard to come in and produce everything from scratch, it's also better because it's got all the nuance and the quirks and the personality of real affiliates. Make sure you're doing right. So I teach a course for, for physical therapists to learn how to work with pregnant and postpartum athletes. And so, of course, Annie Thor's daughter has been just like the icon for that. And so last year, like whenever she was, you know, the snatch lift, of course, yeah. is like the most iconic. But I'm like standing in the stand that I'm just like, <gasps> I'm like bawling my eyes out. I'm like, yeah like for womankind and so when we found out that we were doing this um i was just in shock i think the first thing i said was like am i gonna embarrass myself <laughs> we're going against annie thor's daughter this place uh it's truly, I know it says it's in a CrossFit affiliate, and it is, but it's truly a community. Inside these four walls is unmatched. The people that make up this place are unbelievable. And the community here is, is uh, it's truly, it's truly amazing. Uh, getting to be around so many people that all want to, you know, do well and have the same vision and goals. Man, it's, 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 it's a true blessing to get to be a part of, and it's something that you get to look forward to, to coming here every single day. So it's good. The 22.3 announcement was not just in one affiliate, 
it was in two affiliates. When they asked if we wanted to do this as a team, I was like, hell yeah. It's the first open announcement that has a team on it and it'll be my team and at my gym. One of the most fun times is when you're competing on home ground. That is like, it doesn't get a lot better than that. So it'll be really fun. Obviously I'm competing against them, but it's also like, we're a team. So we're gonna all try to do our very, very best. And I want them to do super well as well. So it's like, it's, it'll be really cool. Go. So we'll leave it with Sean to take us home. And now Sean with the awesome. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Did you good on the fire? That's very good. Very good. good on the yes. He can come again. It's the, uh, the, the practice of the thingy that we're about to do. Yeah. The warm up thingy, the walkthrough. I'm not nervous, I'm not anxious. Yeah. I feel great, I'm ready to go. Yeah, no, uh, I think this is the dress rehearsal. I think you would call it, but we're not but dressed. We like the undressed yeah. rehearsal, but we're not naked either. But so the boys are gonna start. Uh, Khan, yes. Khan, attention for a little bit for tonight. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, um, boys go first. And if Khan finishes first, we need to wait for Tola. If you finish first, wow. we need to wait for Khan. Shots fired from Annie. I, I no. said, well, wait, she's, Jesus. She's, just, uh, she's taking our past open performance into account. It's okay. <laughs> The complexity of this week, right, as we all know, is that there's two separate competitions happening for the sake of the show. We're gonna have the men go first. So men in both lanes here, same thing in Iceland, right? So there's gonna be one continuous clock the entire time. Chase? Yes. Uh, I don't have a question, I just felt like if someone was talking, like he would come over, so I was just trying to get on the Miles to Madison video. That's it. This is definitely happening during the show where he's going to talk trash to wreck your ass. I'll say one word for trash talk, and that's I won't tell you now, but I will say one. That's it. <laughs> I brought my mullet too, just in case. <laughs> just in case. Just in case. I brought it. I have a mullet. Just in case, man. I love America, and America is not America without a mullet, right? What do we do with our hands? <laughs> Mine are in my pockets. Annie <laughs> <laughs> posted the video today of, <laughs> of their team. Did y'all see that on Instagram where they're, you know that Beyonce song is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all drop. And it was like with all the CrossFit movements, it was the whole team. So I sent it to the team this morning. I'm like, we have to have a response. <laughs> Right here. We gotta all look like turn our heads at the same time. Okay. Up. Don't smile. One, two, three, look. Three, two, one, look. Okay, look forward. You ready? So ready. Jump. Look. We may not be able to beat them on the floor tomorrow, but this floor. <laughs> To this music, we got them. <laughs> you know, I, I think we really, we saved the best for last. It, the first two weeks were fantastic. Being back in front of a live audience was, was really cool. But to be back in front of an affiliate and have the community here and hear these fans and hear the enthusiasm for it, it, it was a blast. Like, it, it was just, this one feels, it feels special. have a record 288 members who have signed up for the Open. How are you guys able to get such huge numbers to sign up? You see these people? <laughs> This crowd is intoxicating. Like, that is the word that I can use to describe them. They are intoxicating. Like, there were times where I was just like, I'm drunk on their vibes. Like, it was just so good. It's always amazing to have it at home. It's always the best to have it at home. Get to do it with your people, at your gym, with your family. That's, it's by far the best. Are y'all ready? Yeah. 22.3. All right, the workout is for time. 21 pull-ups, 42, 42 double-unders, 21 thrusters, 
Then 18 chest of our pull-ups, 36 double unders, 18, 18 thrusters. thrusters. Then 15 bar muscle ups. 30 double unders, 15 thrusters. The thrusters increase in weight every round. There is a 12 minute time cap. Good. Wow! And the weights are light. <laughs> <laughs>honestly been able to train a lot of like gymnastics movements on the bar and even thrusters because it's just like the front rack position doesn't feel very good I feel like I've held back a little bit in like the previous workout so I just was like okay let's go for it and see what happens and I think it went out it went pretty well Yeah, I definitely was surprised by like how well I think I did for myself in this workout considering the training that I've done leading up to this has not involved much of any of these movements. So muscle ups was, I'd say the most scared movement for me, even over snatches, just because it's just a lot of low on my elbow and my strategy was just to take it very slow. Like I took baby steps and did tons of drills before I even did one rep. For somebody coming off of such a huge injury, to see Brooke Wells finish fifth place overall in the Open this year means this really could be a big comeback year for Brooke. The good thing is that doing workouts like this kind of shows that it'll be there when I need it. I should be healthy. Hey, how are you guys feeling? Excited. Yeah. Excited. It's our people. It's our gym. Yeah. This yeah. is it. Yeah. So you guys know Lindsay and Maggie. They're yes. going to be judging you guys. Uh, it'll be just like rehearsal. Same deal. Uh, you know, we are, you know, live to the world, that sort of thing. These guys are going to hold you to a strict standard. Totally. Don't come out hot and think, you know, just blasting reps that aren't all the way there. Like, take the time to make it undeniable. It's really easy to get wrapped up in like, you know, there's people yeah. and they're gonna make it loud and then your first round you come out and you're just like, what am I doing? And you're not even in your mind. And then they're throwing no reps and nobody wants to. Sucks, that. I don't want to. We don't want to, but yeah. No, Maggie do wants it. to. Alrighty, Lindsay, you're chatting with Annie now. Let's see what kind of head start you can negotiate. So how does 10 minutes sound since you've been in the game since i Well, do you want me to hand this to you on a platter or do you want to try to actually win? So the fun part about the matchup was Hendersonville was able to actually negotiate a head start. Four minutes, four Wait. minutes is as high as I go. Four minutes, take it or leave it or I'll start four counting minutes? down again. No, five minutes, meet us in the middle. Five minutes. I'm going down, three and a half. So they went back and forth and Annie played hardball and in the end they settled on four minutes and 30 seconds. And given the talent on Reykjavik's team, I honestly don't think it was enough. You know, if you ain't first, you're last. Let's go! Let's go! And we ain't looking to finish last today. Let's go, baby. Let's go! Down to the competition floor for the final time of the 2022 Noble CrossFit Games Open. That man, Adrian Bosman, get us started. Three, two, one, go! They have a four and a half minute Head start on Tolamora Quino and Con Porter. Shani, look at the beginning of this event. This is classic Fran movements in a different order. Five seconds now before Porter and Moraquino get going. Three, two, one, go! This middle round is going to be a lot where I think your resolve is tested and where the last round is where your fitness is going to get tested. Con Porter is done with round two. Morquino almost done with his second set of thrusters. That may as well be an empty barbell for Morquino. The fatigue level in these little breaks you see from Hendersonville on the side is going to be what's going to open that door up for Marquino and Porter. As now Lindsey McDuffie and Alexis Morgan are working, Lauren Fisher and Annie Thorstow are just ripped through their pull-ups, so they are now in the lead. <laughs> McDuffie has her fans counting her in. Gutsy effort from the...
the crew from Cross in Hendersonville. And Reykjavik is already showered and changed outfits and ready for their post-workout interview. Yeah, that was unreal. Like, I don't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect, but that vibe was ridiculous. Like, yeah, thank you so much to the crowd for that environment, for that vibe. It's so great being back in an affiliate. The energy that affiliates give us during the open announcements, there's just no way to replicate that. Everything starts with the open, and it's where the heart of the community lies, and it is by far my favorite part of the season. How did it feel having uh, the entire festival watch you on 135 pound busters? What would have felt better if I wasn't fighting back vomit through all of them, but you know, it was, we got the job done. Left it all out there for sure. I was out there and I'm like, oh my gosh, you can't do another, you can't do another muscle. I'm like, yes you can. No, no I can't. Yes you can. And everyone just starts cheering. I hear all my people go and I'm like, I can do this. I can do this. This is probably, definitely, if not the coolest, one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. Yeah, man, it was uh, unbelievable. I couldn't believe that it happened whenever they told us it was going to happen. Me showing up here today, seeing it all, it was, uh, man, what an experience. This has been such a gift. Uh, this, I found CrossFit right after um, I finished college, and so this has been like my first, you know, my first child. Like Chase said, this has changed my life. And I've had the blessing and the privilege to change um, other people, other people's lives, and it's been um, something that, man, you can't you can't put to words how good of a gift and how sweet of a gift this has been. Next time on Miles to Madison. My initial reaction when I found out Annie put a team together was excitement. I was excited because I want to beat them. It was the jolt of motivation that I needed to get into the season. I'm not going to say we have a huge weakness, but we have holes that we need to fill up. I just think we stayed too comfortable the whole time. For me, the biggest priority is just stay healthy and I should have a good crack at it. If he can compete the way he competed last year, he's going to win the CrossFit Games.